Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called Jammy's Furniture Mod. And basically this just adds loads of different kinds of furniture into Minecraft. Um, there's a reason why I picked this specific furniture mod instead of the other ones, is because um, it contains a lot more stuff and they all have a really nice function. And you can actually toggle these lights, which I'll go into now. So I think the way I'm going to show this off is just like show you the items as I meet them. So first off, these are outdoor lamps, and you can turn them on and off by right-clicking on them, and you can't really see at the moment because it's daytime, but at night, you'll see what I mean. So anyway, let's just go in, and the first thing I'm going to show you out of the actual furniture stuff are these seats. And they come in four different colours, as you can see here, which is green, red, black, and blue. So anyway, you can sit on these, so they have a function. You can sit down like that, just as you'd sit in a minecart. You kind of clip through the chair a bit, but that's just Minecraft, not the mod's fault. So anyway, let's just get off that. So there's not really much more to say about a chair, it's a chair. You've all seen what a chair looks like, so let's just move straight on from that one. Um, these are actually lights, as you can guess. They hang down from the roof and you can place them. And again, you can toggle these by right-clicking on them, like that. And they have the same brightness as a torch, I believe. And this is a lamp, and again, it has the same brightness as a torch. So you don't actually have to have any torches in your house, and I think they look a lot better than torches as a whole, really. So anyway, um, the next item is the coffee table thingy here. And it's got a really nice texture, and I don't really know what else I can say about a coffee table. It's a coffee table. You can jump on it and it doesn't smash, which is... Don't do that in real life. I don't think it'll end up very well. But anyway, now on to the next stuff. So, moving on from seats over there, you can actually make sofas, which is just used by using a left and a right seat bit. I'll get onto that now, I'll show you how you do that. So let's go over to load 2. So you can see the sofa parts here, so you've got a left sofa part, a centre sofa part and a right sofa part, like that. And you can again sit on these and you can actually move across them by right clicking on the seat next to them as well. So yeah, and again these come in only four colours so you can't make it out of any different colour wool. I'm sure that will be changed in the future though, so that's pretty much what I can say about the sofa. And if you come here you notice that there's a lot of Christmas trees. I know it's a bit out of the uh, season, really, but I had to include them somehow and this room seemed very appropriate to shove some Christmas trees in. Uh, so yeah, these are Christmas trees and I'd like it if they were a bit bigger, but then it would be occupying two blocks, which I'm presuming would be very hard to do. So that's the Christmas tree, as you can see. Very blocky. And another thing in this room, which you may not have noticed, are these tables. So these are just normal tables and you can place them down like that. Um, one thing I would mention is that you get like extra supports in the middle and I think they shouldn't exist. I think when you put four together, those um, four table legs should disappear in the middle because it's not very uh, realistic, but anyway. So I think now we'll jump onto the next floor and see what else this mod's got to show. Actually I missed one thing out before I go to the next floor, which is this fireplace. Um, this is a fireplace and you can make these and it's a nice alternative to the like iron bars that you normally use to make a fireplace. So. There's not really much more to say about fireplace. It'd be nice if you could put something on top of this, but I'm not sure if you can because it occupies more than one block, so it'll just be floating up there. So, But anyway, that's a fireplace, and I can't really say much more about that, but on to the next floor. So the next thing in this mod, which I want to show you, is all the bathroom stuff that this mod adds. So uh, there's a lot of items which it adds to decorate your bathrooms in your houses. So let's just start with a simple thing, such as these bathroom cupboards here. So these store eight different items, uh, well, the same items, or they just store eight items, really. So I've got some sugar in here for some weird reason and some buckets. The buckets actually have a reason, I'm going to need one of those for a later demonstration. But anyway, here's a toilet and it has a really nice model and you can see the water inside it. And the awesome thing about these is you can actually sit on them and it will play a sound effect. Like that. So um, if you really like some atmosphere in your Minecraft world where you're sitting on the toilet, well, there you go. You can enjoy that. Uh, sounds a bit weird, but there you go. So the next thing I want to show you is the bin. And when you put items in the bin like this, they all disappear after about five minutes, I think the mod says. So don't put your diamonds in there. Although I don't know why you'd put diamonds in a bin anyway, but there you go. So those will just gradually disappear over time. And um, yeah, so actually I forgot to mention these blinds here. Now these blinds have three different states, and you just right click on them to change the different state. So you've got them open, and then closed, and then fully closed, like that, you know. So there you go, those are blinds. A really nice aesthetic to put in your bathroom as well, so yeah. They only stretch through one window, so you, to make two windows you'll have to put two extra ones down. Which looks a bit weird, but it works, so there you go. 
Um, the next thing I think is the coolest in this whole mod, and it's the bath. I mean, look at this model, it looks really awesome, and you can actually get in this like a sofa really because you can sit in two different areas and a look like that in it which is awesome again I'm clipping through the edge but that's just a Minecraft issue and yeah there's not really any feature to the bath but then again I don't know what you'd add to give a bonus from a bath it doesn't really give you any anything really does it um, here's a sink anyway it's again got a really awesome um, texture and model so well it hasn't really got a texture but it's got a nice model so anyway, this actually does have a function. If you've got a bucket, you can right click on it and fill the bucket with water like that. And you can place it down, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to flood my house, which would not be good. And here's just two more cupboards. So that pretty much sums it up for the bathroom stuff. Now um, let's go on to the other exciting stuff in this mod. So now onto the entertainment room, so to speak. So we've got a nice sofa here and a radio and a grandfather clock and a TV and stuff like that. Let's just go through these one by one and show you what they do. So first off, this is a radio. And again, it's got a really nice texture and model and like all the stuff in this mod does. And this actually does have a function, although it's not really a very useful function. If you right click on it, it will play some static noise. So get ready if you're wearing headphones to be like, ah, horrible sounds. But anyway, let's right click this. It's quite a long sound, so it lasts forever. But there we go. That's basically the function of the radio. It'd be nice if you could actually play some um, radio stations through this with like a GUI or something. But anyway, on to the next one, which is the grandfather clock. Now this is two different functions, so if you right click on the middle bit, like this, you can have a hidey hole, which I've got my TNT in, because everyone knows you put TNT in grandfather clocks. Well, not really, but anyway. And if you right click on the top bit like this, it tells you what the time is, although it does say the time is currently 62. And I don't really get what that means, it's probably some Minecraft time units or something. It'd be nice if it actually said the hour or something instead. And it tells you that it's nearly morning, so that's kind of useful. And the grandfather clock's made up of three different segments which are crafted separately, and then you just put them on top of each other. But it does also mean you can make the uh, grandfather clock really tall, so... For example, I can get rid of that light and then put the top there, and then we've got a really tall grandfather clock, which is really weird and funny looking, but if you really want to Massive grandfather clock, you can get this Martin, have fun with that. So the next thing I'm going to show is the TV, and it has a really nice texture, I love the gradient on the screen. It actually has no function though, so it's not like the radio, it doesn't produce like a static image. I think it'd be very hard to have a static kind of video or image in there as, well you could do an image easily, but not a video, so. Um, it hasn't really got a function, but it's a nice aesthetic thing to put in your room to uh, make it look a lot better. And you can just sit down and watch nothing as... Well, there's not really much on TV these days anyway, so it's probably what you're doing most of the time watching TV. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the last of this entertainment room, I think. Uh, I haven't missed anything, I don't think. Actually, um, earlier, I forgot to mention that you can also make a corner sofa bit like this, and you can actually sit on it and be in the corner of a sofa. But it's not that really that important, and if you downloaded the mod, you'd probably notice it yourself. So, yeah, now on to the next features of this mod. Also in this mod are a load of different kinds of mob head. So in default Minecraft there are actually a few mob heads in the game already, but these are only for aggressive mobs and there's really not that many of them. Um, what this mod basically does is add loads of different kinds for all the different mobs, well apart from bat, but a bat head would be really small wouldn't it? But yeah, so as you can see here we've got all the different kinds of mob head, and there's, there's actually special features with these, some of them actually play sound effects. So if I right click on this wall, you can see it plays a growling sound effect and blazes. Um, when you right click on that one it plays a blaze sound effect and creepers hiss and stuff like that. So far the only ones that I've noticed that play a sound are Steve, the pigman, the blaze, the wolf and the creeper. So yeah, this one just goes like eating sound and that's a pigman sound. The rest of them don't appear to play any sounds. But I suppose these are really good for decorative purposes. You can stick a few on these on your wall and show people how many mobs you've killed. But these are actually um, obtained by crafting and not through killing mobs. So. Bear that in mind, you'll have to craft a lot if you want to cover your house in chicken heads or something like that. But anyway, now onto the next feature of the mod, which happens to be the kitchen stuff. So here we are at the kitchen, you can see all this lovely kitchen stuff included in this mod. So I think we'll start over here with the kitchen chair, so you can, well it's not really specifically a kitchen chair, but it's a chair. I was meant to actually show this earlier with the other tables in this mod, but there's nothing really too special about it, it's just a chair and you can sit up to the kitchen side here, which is the thing in front of me. So yeah, let's get off this, go into first person. So this is the kitchen side here. 
and you can place it down it places at the top of the block and just hovers there really so nothing too special but it's a nice little neat thingy if you want to have a kitchen surface or anything like that and next to it we've got this crafting table not to be confused with the crafting bench it's a table not a bench so it's not supported underneath it just like hangs off the wall although you can place it in the middle of nowhere but it just works in the same way as a normal crafting bench and you just right click on it and craft so nothing too special about that either so now onto the interesting stuff we've got the kitchen cupboards here and when you right click on them you can store nine items in them like that and they come in two different varieties we've got the normal kitchen cupboard and then we've got the kitchen cupboard with the shelf on top so you could put some items up here and they look like they're sitting on the top of the kitchen cupboards anyway uh, now on to the other stuff so we let's start on this end with the sink so here we are at the sink and I think actually I need to test this out you can actually get water out of this yep you can there it is so if you right click on the sink with the bucket you can fill it up so that's pretty much the only use of this sink though so pretty much like the bathroom sink really now onto the next item here which is the dishwasher now this actually doesn't have a function I've been messing around with it thought I'd try armor and nothing really happens I don't know if it has a use yet it's probably not implemented but it does have this awesome like opening animation when you right click on it which is neat and the next thing is this cooker here and you can actually use this it's really effective because you can cook two different types of meat at the same time and then it'll cook them like that and it still uses the same amount of coal I think so you can like use the same amount of coal to get double the amount of meat really so there we are we've got steak and cooked pork all cooking at the same time I've just used some filler iron blocks to add an aesthetic touch to this kitchen and let's continue on we've got the I think this is the fridge yep this is the fridge and it just stores items there's nothing really that special about it and next to it you've got the freezer which again stores nine items I think what would be neat if you is if you put like water in here it turn to ice but that isn't a feature yet but that's just a suggestion which I think would be awesome so now on to the last item in this kitchen which is the washing machine now this does have an awesome function it's pretty much like the dishwasher in appearance and GUI appearance but this one you put coal in there and then you put your armor in and it starts making a sound effect which is quite loud and it's a bit buggy because when I like quit my world and go to the main menu it's still playing for about five minutes afterwards so it's on a constant loop or something and it's a bit annoying even if I take the coal out it will still happen but anyway this will slowly repair your armor as far as I'm aware it doesn't matter how damaged your armor is it still takes the same amount of time to repair it but that's a neat way of repairing your armor really albeit a bit noisy but yeah it's an item with a really good function so that's pretty much all the kitchen stuff some of them have their uses and some of them are just really nice aesthetic touches so yeah on to the next items there's not really much left now just some aesthetic blocks really so the final kind of features of this mod are the roofing blocks so here I've just got a random roof in the middle of nowhere and it's made up using these new roofing blocks in the mod so we've got the normal roof block which goes like that and then we've got the corner roof block which you can put on the end of the roofs when you're changing to like a 90 degree angle or something like that it's it's a bit awkward to place but you've got to get the right angle to place it in the right way so then you continue on and then you've got a nice little join in the roof you would normally have to use like slabs to do this but it's a really neat feature that so anyway over here we've got the other kind of roofing block you can get in this so if you've got two roofs coming together like that you can use one of these blocks here and again the angle is kind of hard to get but once you get it it's awesome so there you go you've got a nice join in the roof like that and then you've got also got the default roofing block like this which you can just use to build houses or stuff like that if you want so those that's pretty much everything to do with the roofing block you can probably understand how you use these anyway so let's fly up to the roof and I'll show you the chimney so this is also in the mod and it's just got a nice little cool brick texture it looks like it's got snow on the top as well which is interesting but it has a cool smoking effect as well I don't really think I can say much more about a chimney it's a chimney it just does what chimneys do um, but anyway that's a chimney and whoa the light glows through the roof that's kind of awesome but anyway, that's pretty much everything in the mod now. I've shown you everything I can. Um, there's a lot of crafting recipes, but there is a nice website which um, shows you all the different crafting recipes and what all the different items do. And I will mention before I finish this video that I didn't actually make this map. This was made by some guy I found on Planet Minecraft. So yeah, you should definitely check this out and download it and explore because that building over there is really awesome. So yeah.
Thank you for watching. See you next time.